Hey guys, it's Michael here. I wanted to bring you my thoughts today on the carnival celebration. I've got a list here of 10 items. It's a quick video. I'm going to share eight things that I really loved about carnival celebration and a couple things that I just didn't like as much, okay? Everybody has their own opinion, of course, and I always encourage people to to seek out uh, as many uh, as much information as you can. So today, here's my thoughts, okay? Let's start with uh, the things that I do like about Carnival Celebration. And these are no particular order at all. I'm going to start with number one, which is the obvious size of the ship. The thing that I like about that, of course it's beautiful, it's big, it's huge, it's all that. But... Um, for so many people that say, oh, it's, you know, too many people and stuff. Well, actually, no. Uh, I kind of like it because with the size of this ship, the as far as crowds, everybody crowded in one area or anything, that really doesn't happen a lot. The ship is so large that there are places that you could go to that there's nobody there. I've done that. It's amazing. It's crazy, really. Uh, with that many people on board, people are so dispersed that I, I really like that. So there's so much offered and so much space that uh, I know like on some of the smaller ships, it seems like a lot of times people will gather at the uh, the pool area, the and that's really on a lot of ships the only outside place that you can go. And uh, so this I really do like the fact that the ship is so so large that people are dispersed throughout the ship, and and you you don't uh, you don't feel like you're in a crowd all the time. I, I think that's a big plus. I like that. Okay, number two, I'm going to go with the food. That's a lot of people's favorites, certainly mine. The food, uh, there's so much to choose from. You can go, well, they not only is there so much to choose from, they've offered new restaurants that have never been offered before. And when it comes time to go to, to dinner, breakfast, whatever, uh, a lot more places are offering breakfast. Uh, you you have many, many, many choices, and you're not stuck to just a few places. So, now, um, I want to mention really quick two of my favorites with this ship. It's also uh, with uh, the Mardi Gras and will be Jubilee, or is Chebang. I love Chebang. The food, it was the flavors. Wow, it's something very different for Carnival. And then the other I'd like to mention really quick is Emeralds. Emeralds Bistro. That was amazing. You know, not everybody has been to Louisiana where Emerald, you know, comes from. So his style of cooking. Uh this this was amazing and the and the prices, oh, just so fair. Uh, just it's unbelievable uh to me how how cheap things were and how good the food was. But yes, you've got a lot to choose from, so many different restaurants. And with a large ship like this, you can do that. You don't, you know, if you don't want to eat dinner at the main dining room, if you don't want to go to the buffets, there's so many different choices. So yes, for me, number two is going to be the food. Okay, moving on to number three. It's going to be the outside area of the ship. On this ship, and again, uh, most of what I say here is it, going to be for Carnival Celebration, the Mardi Gras, and the Jubilee. They're built very similar. The outside area of the ships, uh, these ships, uh, if you're outside, if you want to pull over in the shade, there is so much covered area on the outside decks. It is, is to me, just... I welcome this. <laughs> it's like, wow, I wish we'd had this years ago. Uh, if it comes up a rain, you know, whatever, oh, everybody just kind of scoots under the, you know, the covering there. And uh, it's really nice to be able to be outside 
uh, when you want to be regardless of the weather. And also, with the uh, with these ships, many of the restaurants, you can choose to eat inside or outside at the same restaurant. That's kind of nice as, as well. All right, moving along, number four, entertainment. Uh, wow, on a ship this size, there's so much more to choose from. Whether it be the comedy club, the shows, the you know the theaters, the uh, bands playing, whatever you choose, just a lot more to to choose from. On this ship in particular, or well, any of the uh, three, the Punchliner Comedy Club has its own has its own place. In the past, it's usually has been held like in the Limelight Lounge. Uh, but, but this way you can, you can have several things going on at the same time. And that is again, more to choose from. All right. Number five, I've got updated state rooms. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, if you've, if you got, you know, a few people in your room, everybody needs to plug in their cell phone. There is plenty of outlets now. Uh, the outlets beside the bed, the well, the USB ports, rather, right beside your bed. You can lay your phone right there. It's perfect. Love it. And on to, like, the bathroom. Now, we were in a regular balcony cabin, and the bathroom, wow, we actually had a shower door. There wasn't water all over the floor, <laughs> you know. In the past, that's been a, uh, just mm, something I really dreaded. But yes, the uh, updated uh, cabins are, are, they just have so much more. They've thought of everything. They really have. And uh, I really appreciate that as well. All right. Number six is going to be attention to detail. And that's going to be more in the decor of the ship. Uh, I, I'm sure this ship costs a lot of money. So, uh but they didn't they didn't spare anything as far as looks go the the detail down from like the furniture oh my goodness you know this little couch that's kind of cute the little chairs here you know things that are uh just a little special uh the the staircases are beautiful beautiful uh attention to detail they've made the ship really look nice and of course, the area around uh, Emerald's Bistro with the big LED windows, that is just beautiful as well. All right, number six, uh, or I'm sorry, did number six, uh, number seven, maneuvering around the ship. Now, this is something you don't hear very often, but with this particular ship and the others as well, it's so easy to maneuver around the ship. The there are more elevators, there are more staircases. It's just easier to get where you want to go. And how I can explain this: How many times have you been on a ship and said, "Well, this is where I want to go." You got to go upstairs, across, back downstairs, and you know. Well, a lot of that is the galley, which is the employee area where all the foods cook, things like that. But for this particular ship, it's hardly noticeable. There are, there's just more ways of getting around. It's just much easier. The elevators are a little small, but there's so many of them. That's okay with me. All right, and my last one, the thing that I really like about this ship is the people. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> You're going to say, what? The people. Um, it's not that it's a different uh, type of people or different type of person or anything like that. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is there are more people. So anything that you choose, say like, um, so like if you, if you want to go to like the trivia, uh, it isn't, you don't have to worry that there's two or three people at trivia. There's some people there. It makes it more fun. If you want to go see a, a, a band play, hear a band play, there will actually be people on the dance floor, you know. Um, just makes it more interactive. And for you single guys, ladies, a uh, lot of single people on these cruises. A lot of fun.
All right, now let's get to the things I didn't really like as much, okay? And there's only two, okay? Uh, number one is <laughs> there are no laundry facilities on these ships. And for most people, that's not going to bother most people. But for me, I try to pack light. And sometimes it's like, ooh, you're on an eight-day cruise. It's like, I need a, you know, I need to wash something out here. Um, there, you know, you can, there are, there is laundry service you can definitely use. But I have so many times had to go to the laundromat. Um, so let me clarify that. I, maybe I didn't say that right. There is no laundrette on these ships. There is laundry service that you can send your clothes and have them done. But uh, that is something I kind of miss. It's okay. It's not a deal breaker. You just got to pack better, you know. Uh, all right. And the, the second thing that I had a problem with a little bit uh, was the um, Celebration Central area. And that is a big wide open place. I kind of feel like that it's Carnival's answer to the atrium, as we've always known on, on the other ships, to be a big, wide-open, grand-looking place. Uh, they hold shows here, different things that uh, they offer. However, it's just not enough room for, uh, for, the, for the crowd that it attracts. Now, the theater, beautiful, no problem. But for this particular area, I'm really not sure what they were thinking. Um, mm, that could have been done just a little bit better. But guys, hey, that's my thoughts, you know. Okay, guys, so overall, would I recommend the Carnival Celebration? Absolutely. Hands down, it was, it was amazing. Beautiful and offers so much. So, yes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap it up. Again, my name is Michael. Hey, how about clicking that like button if you enjoyed the content? And as always, we invite you to subscribe if you have not already. We will have new videos coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.